Hello everyone, my name is Kim. Uh, welcome to my channel. It's Kim's Low Carb Lifestyle. Uh, I wanted to come back on and just kind of give a brief summary summary of what's been going on. Uh, I last did my update video on February the 22nd. That was my two-month um, low carb um, anniversary. And <clears throat> please go watch that video. Now, I'm not quite at my three-month anniversary. It's just maybe about a week away because that would be March the 21st. Um, but I just want to come in and do a quick, like, brief summary on what's been going on with me and everything. So, normally I have gotten to the point where I was obsessed or wanting to weigh myself on a consistent basis and then get disappointed because it's like oh, okay I'm losing the weight but then I pick it back up and I'm like well what am I doing wrong um so it has gotten to the point where I don't really weigh myself but I when I did it on the 22nd when I did the video I was at 353 during that time and I hadn't weighed myself nor measured myself since then but it's you know that far but i did weigh myself uh over the weekend this past weekend um that friday last friday and i was shocked that i was down to 346 and but i haven't done my measurements so i will do um another way on the 21st i believe but i may need to hold off because it'd be around that time of the month and um, a lot of bloating and things like that could be going on, but I know that that is, um, that'll be my three month anniversary. So I probably just still weigh myself, but I may have to wait after then because of the bloatness and things like that. So I, that's why I may, I weighed myself, um, last Friday too, um, so I could keep the image. So <clears throat> according to the way, the way I weighed in, um, last Friday, last friday i'm about 35 pounds down uh like i said i hadn't done my measurements but i do still feel a lot better i am doing really you know really well i you know still do have a little bit of issues with the sugar-free sweets um i will you know eat quite a few of those um but it's all about you know trying to figure out a way around it um you know trying to figure out what works for your body what would keep you going um so i normally like i said in the last video uh about my update i will do like a cheap meal but not like a cheap day um <clears throat> so and it seemed like that really helped out but you know i know that it's not a good thing because it can um mess people up and cause them to you know go back to eating high carb foods but for the most part, I have been doing pretty fine with it. I've been able to, you know, kind of stick with it. Um, so I try to be mindful whether I'm bored or emotional eating. That's when I notice I want a lot more of the, um, which I eat low carb ice cream and the candy and sugar free, you know, things like that. So I try to be really mindful of it. But it also my clothes like i said i still don't see a whole whole lot of difference in my clothes but you know people are noticing the weight loss because they mention it uh, people on my job like oh you're losing weight and this and this and that and i'm like i'm trying because which i am so you know so far like i said it's it's not that hard because the food keep you satisfied you know but it's just kind of sometimes try to you just have to plan of what you're going to eat now many times i plan in my head um because i always been that way i've been like you know i really didn't want to write that down because i may not eat it or i don't want it later on so that could be my kind of downfall i may need to do better with that but i don't track my micros like actually write it down or put it in a um card manager type of app um, because it was kind of like frustrating to me as well so i kind of just try to make sure that i am doing at least 20 cars 
or less but you know if you're not really tracking it it's kind of hard to really know for sure but i know some days i do maybe 25 and even maybe 30 um they could be my cheap meals um but for the most part i do try to keep it um around that or low uh you know because i'm you know trying to get the weight off and as i said in my last video about my update um my two month update that i um <clears throat> I actually, my motivation is to feel better. Like I said, which that has gone a lot better. I'm not up under the pain that I was in. So, and my motivation still is the weight loss because my doctor told me what would determine for me to get off of. I take Trilicity and Lestartan um, and another prescribed medication. And he was saying that what would determine for me to get off of those medications is weight loss. So he didn't say exactly how much, but that's my motivation. So when I go back in August of this year, that hopefully I have lost more weight so that he can, you know, take me off some more medications. Um, because the only thing that I will be taking then would be like my vitamin D. And I do take a... Um, biotin. I just started taking, I was taking another one that wasn't um, as many um, MCGs. So this one is a 5,000 MCG biotin, but it also had collagen support in it. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Can't focus, focus, focus. So I take two of these, one in the morning and one in the evening after I eat my dinner. So I, I'm taking it because in the last video I did talk about that I noticed some shedding on my hair. It wasn't a whole lot, but I noticed some shedding. So uh, I actually started taking these and I was just trying to make sure my protein was up. Also, I still do intermittent fasting. Um, I do it maybe five days a week, um, which I do 16, 8. So I fast for 16 hours and then I eat within an eight-hour window. So like I said, my hours are normally, uh, I start eating between 12 p.m. and up until 8 p.m. at night. Sometimes I stop a little bit before that. It just depends on what's going on. Um, but for the most part, you know, I stop sometimes, like I said, it could be like now I have eaten my dinner for tonight and it's just like 6.55 right at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So sometime it may be a little bit later. It just depends on where I'm at, what I'm doing, what I have going on. But, you know, from here, I will not eat anything. And then again, I may eat something before that window is up. Just depends on what is what I'm feeling. But I, well, once that window hit, I would not eat nothing else until tomorrow, 12 o'clock noon. Um, so I still do that. I think I'm, you know, doing pretty fine. But I'm fat adapted, so I could do that. But which, that makes it easier because before I started doing low carb, I would not eat breakfast in the morning but then maybe around 11 to 12 o'clock oh god i'm feeding my face with tater chips and cookies and mcdonald's and hardy's food and this and this and that then you know that'll go away and then you want to eat something else so it was like i was just starving but now i'm eating more healthier and also like food more proteins and i'm not being filled with those empty carbs and things like that so it is keeping me satisfied and so that makes it easy for me because i can't you know some people try to eat six meals a day i couldn't do it with my work schedule so it just really works out really well um and it, i can still lose weight because i'm doing it in a much more healthier way but <clears throat> And I wanted to just give you all that update. And I want to say I actually did a um, lasagna from her name, Shelby, Shelly's. And I enjoyed the way she did it. My husband loved it. It was really good. Um, you know, the noodles was basically made out of like cream cheese, 
um, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and eggs, and you mix all that, and you bake it in the oven about 20 minutes. Once that cool, you let it cool off, and you can cut it into strips, and then you just layer it like you do your regular lasagna seasoning and everything, and that was delicious. Uh, my husband loved it, so that's my new um, go-to if I want a lasagna, so I'm going to, you know, continue to use that recipe, so I thank you, um, Shelly, for that. I don't know where you got it from, but you know it's it's really good it's a good alternative um to not have all those carbs but i just wanted to chime in with a video and just kind of give you my update my progress so like i said i will probably try to do another video at my three month um and that is the 21st but like i said i, I got a visitor coming uh, meaning you know that time around next week sometime so i'm reluctant to do it because of you know may cause me to feel some type of way because i would be bloating and all of that um so but i want to leave you with a inspirational quote and the quote is weight loss is not impossible weight loss is hard but hard is not the same as impossible the author is unknown so you know keep striving keep um, moving towards your goal to get healthier, um, to be a better version of yourself. So I just wanted to give you all that update and hopefully this motivates someone. Um, so please subscribe to my channel, like my um, videos, and also please leave a comment. So leave a comment. Give me um, your update. How you feeling? What's been going on with you since you have started um, this lifestyle? How has it changed your life for the better? Um, so, you know, I want to say thank you all for watching my video and I want to say good morning, good night, or good afternoon for whatever part of the world that you're in. But most of all, sweethearts, stay safe.